Our industry has always been heavily focused on safety, and for us this pilot is a natural evolution of our historical commitment. We're really hoping to build both our science and the confidence so that we know as an airport how to introduce testing and screening for COVID safely and effectively in our airport. It's also about building collective knowledge, which will help inform longer term solutions. The test that we're deploying is approved for nasal pharyngeal swab. That can give us a result within 15 to 20 minutes. But as part of this study, we will test to see whether we can use simple mouth rinses as a replacement. That will make the testing so much easier for passengers. We hope to see if this technology is able to identify individuals who are potentially infectious prior to traveling. Having a leading research partner is vital to ensuring the data we generate is both additive and useful to government partners and public health officials. WestJet and YVR thought we'd do our part by testing on departure. That way we can share the information and get both ends of the travel journey well documented and tested. The testing will entail a straightforward process, a brief consult with the research coordinators, followed by a short questionnaire, and then the test before receiving results. Success looks like we have the knowledge that we need to operate COVID testing successfully within the travel environment. It identifies the people who are potentially infectious and that we can show that this kind of process is feasible and can be implemented in airports, not only in Canada, but in other parts of the world. And that passengers and the public have confidence to know that there's no COVID on board the aircraft. Getting testing right is extremely important for increasing the confidence of our guests. This will make travel much, much safer in the long run.